Welcome in everyone to the Mike Mincy Show, joined now by the head coach of the Carson Newman Lady Eagles, Mike Mincy. I'm Roger Hoover, and coach, exciting opportunity coming up tomorrow for your basketball team, getting to welcome in the top team in the sack, Anderson. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, I think we're pretty much set in what we're going to finish as far as uh, in that lower half. I don't know if there's, uh, mathematically, if there's any way we can get in, uh, whereas, uh, you know, Anderson's got a lot that they're playing for. Uh, I think they're one game up right now in the league, and, and they're being, them being the best team, and uh, the number one team in our league, you know, they're coming in our place. And so uh, uh, hopefully our kids will show up knowing that they're playing uh, a really good basketball team and a team that beat us at their place uh, by double double figures. And, uh, you know, hopefully everybody will show up. And, and certainly to take down the best team in our league uh, would be something that, that maybe could give us some confidence as we head down the stretch here with three games to go. This has been one of the tougher stretches for the Lady Eagles this season, losing four of their last five games. What have you noticed over this last little bit? Well, you know, it's something that we've talked about a lot, about how we uh, typically do okay in the first half, and, and we've either been tied or, or led uh, after the first half, and then we go into the second half, and I don't know at what point, but it gets down about the 10-minute mark, sometimes even low as the 5-minute mark, and we still have a lead or right there uh, close, and then uh, for whatever reason, with about five or six minutes to go, uh, things don't go well for us. And, uh, you know, that's how we've lost all these basketball games. They've all been one or two possession games at the end. And, uh, you know, the ball just hasn't bounced our way. I think we could very easily have been sitting uh, uh, up there in the top four, ten and five, you know, somewhere in that neighborhood. But, uh, you know, unfortunately it didn't go our way. And, uh, you know, here we are at seven and eight in the conference instead of where we'd have liked to have been. You look at Tatum Burst from over the last three games. She's got her average up now, leads Carson Newman in scoring, and really seems like she's as confident with her shot, especially from three. Yeah, you know, and that's uh, uh, had a conversation with her today. You know, we're we we really rely on her shot a lot, and uh, certainly her three point making ability is is huge. And uh, you know, the more that she can get off, and the more she can make, certainly helps our basketball team and opens things up. And uh, she's one of those that we're going to continue to count on as a freshman. And then you know, obviously she's here for three more years, and uh, it's really good experience that she's been able to get this year, starting every regular season game, as well as JJ starting every regular season game as a freshman. So. Having them for the next three years, hopefully we'll be able to turn things around and be back to the top of our league soon. When we talked about Anderson and Lady Eagles fell to Anderson for the first time this season uh, on the road at Anderson, but what it really stands out to you about that game, Carson Newman and Anderson were tight before the Trojans went on a long run. Yeah, I think it was, what, 32-32 uh, at one point. And then, um, you know, best I can recall, just uh, they, they made some plays there in the second half. We kind of struggled a little bit offensively, only scoring, what, 46 points in the game to their 60, and uh, uh, they had some big threes. I think it was about three threes that they hit there in one little stretch that they got on a run, got up nine or ten points, and that was basically the, you know, the nail that sealed the coffin, so to speak, and uh, so uh, I think we match up with them okay. Uh, they've had a lot of close games here lately, but they're doing what good teams do, and that's pulling out basketball games at the end, and uh, They've had some scares, but I think they're 11 and two since they played us last or somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, but uh, they're, they got a good basketball team. They've got a lot of really good players, and they've got those four seniors that start. Which, uh, you know, anytime you got four seniors in your starting lineup, you'd expect to do good things. And Alyssa Diaz is the top scorer for Trojans, second leading scorer in the sack. How do you try and contain her tomorrow? She's a really tough guard at 5'10". You know, she's uh, really athletic. She can shoot it outside. She can put it on the floor and. Uh, you know, she's got a real passion for the game. Just about every time I've watched them play, you know, she's, uh, she's got the ability to carry them and, and put them on their back and, and, and take them to wins. And, uh, of course, she's got a lot of good people around her. So a lot of times when you have those good players around you, it, uh, it makes your job easier and, and allows you to get those 17, 18 points a game, which is where she's at. So, um, you know, getting her stopped is a real challenge, as it has been for everybody this year. Just got to, you know, you got to keep her away from the rim as best as possible. Uh, when she is taking outside shots, you got to get a hand up in her face and make her take tough shots. Certainly don't want to put her at the free throw line either. Coach, thank you for joining us. Thank you, Roger.